This is the chemistry of chemotherapy. Before we can understand chemo, we have to understand the cancer itself. Cancer is caused by the uncontrollable reproduction of abnormal cells that build up to eventually cause a tumor. Once an oncologist diagnoses a cancer, the patient will develop a personal treatment plan. Since chemo plans are personalized, more than 200 different chemo drugs are used, so we will only focus on two of them. Baritronase is most commonly used to treat acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It is made from a type of bacteria called E. coli. All of the cells in our body need an enzyme called asparagine. Imagine this as a brick and imagine the drug asparaginase as a hammer. Asparaginase breaks the asparagine into ammonia and aspartic acid. The normal cells can make more, but the cancer cells cannot, so they die. Therefore, the tumor shrinks. Asparaginase is often given with a combination of steroids. All of the side effects are caused due to the extra chemicals such as the ammonia and aspartic acid circulating the body. The other drug we're going to talk about is doxorubicin. Doxorubicin is a combination of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrates. It is made from a natural product produced by the soil fungus Streptomyces. It may work by blocking the enzyme topoisomerase 2 that cancer cells need to keep dividing, or by damaging the DNA that tells the cell to keep dividing. Doxorubicin cannot tell the difference between cancer cells and normal cells. This is what causes the extreme side effect. It is classified as a vesicant, meaning that if it escapes from the vein, it will cause major tissue damage and blistering. We have chemistry to thank for almost every single chemo drug there is. Although many are from natural products, they were refined in labs. We hope that we can keep advancing our treatments in order to find a less evasive and more successful cure. If you would like to learn more about chemotherapy, please visit www.chemistryislife.com.